It happens to us many times. Our child, relative, or friend accidentally or purposely locks an interior door and we can't get in. This can be annoying and in some instances dangerous. You may not destroying the door. What if you have just moved into a house and you find a closet that is locked? You need to get into the space and have access to the closet. What can you do? It's very common to feel helpless in situations like these. If you're locked somewhere watching this, we have a good way to get you out of the room. Here's a list of 10 ways to open a door without a key. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number 10. Open a locked bedroom door without keyhole. Interior or bedroom doors are not all the same. There are some that will take a key, while others will have a simple hole in the middle. And there are even some without any kind of hole, but can lock. Should your door be one that has just a small hole in the center? It's an easy fix. With the use of a paper clip or some kind of long skinny item that will fit into the hole, it is possible to push the locking mechanism. Place the straight and skinny item into the hole in the middle of the doorknob. With a little force, push the item until you hear a click. This click is the locking mechanism. Once you hear the click, the door will be unlocked. It might seem simple, but we assure you that it is not. Before you ruin the door lock and, and never be able to get out, use other methods in the list so you can get out easily without wasting any time. Number 9. Using a drill This is pretty much what it sounds like. You use the drill to destroy the pins so the lock can turn freely. Because you're aiming for the pins, you want to drill just above the top of the keyhole, in line with the threshold between the cylinder and the position of the pins when they're pushed free. This is called the shear line. You're going to want to experiment with different drill bit sizes, start small, and lubricating oil will help. It also can't hurt to use a super powerful drill driver. Still, expect the process to take some time. Once you've drilled all the way through, jam a flathead screwdriver into the keyhole and you should be able to turn it. Drilling the door will damage the door and the doorknob definitely, so we're not going to guarantee that you'll be able to get out without damaging anything. You might need a new lock, and if you're lucky, just a lock. Otherwise, the whole door. Number 8. Open with a card. If your door has a lever-style lock, then a card will be the best tool to get in. When choosing a card, it's important not to choose one that will matter should it get damaged. Your debit, credit, or other similar cards will not be good options. During the process, they may become damaged, and we wouldn't want to be without those. Your identification card or insurance card are okay options, but could become bent or scratched. Choosing a card such as a store rewards card, library card, or other easy to replace cards is best. These type of cards are quick to replace or can be used without a physical card. To unlock the door is fairly simple. Slide your card in the gap between the door and the door jam. To get it past the locking mechanism, you may have to do some wiggling or maneuvering. But as you swipe your card and press against the latch, the door will unlock. For some doors, it's best to lean against the door so that there is a little pressure. That pressure may help engage the lock more securely when you're sliding the card down. It may take several tries to be able to catch the mechanism completely. Also, if it doesn't work when you slide the card down, try sliding the card up. It's possible that the door is put together wrong or that you'll get a better push on the latch with an upward swipe. Number 7. How to open a locked door with a knife. This method is very similar to the card method. It should also be noted that using a sharp knife will result in injury. For this to work, you need a butter knife or spreader, something without a sharp blade. You will place the knife between the door and the door jamb, slide it down quickly while leaning against the door and the door will unlock. This may take a couple of tries or you may find that you need to slide upwards. Number 6. The Scrubbing Method Picking the lock sounds much easier than it is. There are several methods, and generally, this will take a little more skill than sliding something to disengage the door latch. For this to possibly work, you're going to need an Allen wrench and an unbent paper clip with a crook at the end. Place the Allen wrench in the lower edge of the keyhole. With slight pressure, turn the lock as you would with a key. Pressure needs to remain stable, and then place the paper clip into the lock. With this method, you will push the paper clip at the lower part of the keyhole and lift it back upwards. Repeat this in a circular motion while steadily increasing pressure with the Allen wrench. 
Eventually the lock will shift and as you repeat, this door will unlock. Number 5. Pin by Pin Method Should the scrubbing method not work, you can try this. Keep steady pressure on the Allen wrench and gradually place the paper clip in. As the paper clip comes into contact with the pin, attempt to catch it on the bend and lift upwards until it snaps into place. Repeat this with multiple pins until the lock will turn. Number 4. Removing Hinges If none of the other methods were successful, then removing the hinges may be another possibility. To do this, you will need a flathead screwdriver and a hammer or mallet. Place the screwdriver in the bottom of the knuckle and the pin on the door. Tap the handle of the screwdriver in a downward motion. Once they're loose enough, remove the head and pin. You will need to repeat this for all of the hinges. This will not be easy and may take some force to complete. Sometimes it's more successful to only force the pin out using a Phillips head screwdriver. Number 3 using a screwdriver. Residential interior doors, like those on bathrooms and bedrooms, lock for privacy, but aren't really made to be impassable. The non-locking side of the door should have a small hole, likely on the face of the knob. Inside is a small button that needs to be pushed to unlock the door. You simply need a straight, stiff tool to unlock it, a small screwdriver. In some cases, the lock will require you to insert a tool and twist. For that, the screwdriver will be indispensable, but in a pinch, you may be able to hammer the tip of a paperclip flat. Or if, that is, or if it isn't clear already, you should really just carry around a spam key. Another option for doorknobs that are designed to have a lower level of security, that is to remove the doorknob and disassemble the lock. On some knobs, the mounting screws are obvious. They usually call for a Phillips head screwdriver. On others, you'll need to remove a series of pieces like the shank, the rose, etc. before you get down to the mounting screws. In that case, a flathead screwdriver can help you release the mounting mechanisms that hold those extra pieces in place. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber's pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. It seems like the picture is photoshopped as we weren't able to find anything related to it on the internet. It would be almost impossible for anyone to use a banana or any fruit to open a door lock if you don't have a key. If that was possible, any robber wouldn't need any tool, just a banana to get into any home. Maybe a fruit could be used to jam the locking mechanism. That's how someone got the idea to edit this video. But we don't think anyone has ever been able to open up a door with any fruit, let alone a banana. Number 1. When nothing seems to work If you've tried everything to unlock the door and nothing is working, then you have some other options. One would be to kick in the door. This may destroy your door, the doorknob, and the frame. It definitely should be the last resort and only in emergency situations. The other option that will work in emergency situations is to take out the lock with a hammer. This will only destroy the doorknob and may place some dings on the door. For this, take a hammer and repeatedly smash the doorknob. This will break the doorknob from the door, effectively unlocking the door. The third option, which is less invasive, is to use the claw of the hammer to pry the door open. Use some sturdy cardboard to put behind the hammer so that you will not scrape the wall. Then you can wedge the claw of the hammer into the door where the latch is. With some force, it may be possible to pry the door open. Some damage may occur to the door doing this, and you may have scratches or chip away the paint. Another thing to note is, you could cause damage to the doorknob and may have to replace it. Perhaps after such procedures, there will be a need to replace the lock with a new one. Check out our list of the best Mortise locks, and they won't let you down. That's our list of 10 ways to open a door without a key. Which one helped you? Tell us in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.